Hey Jen, so fun fact, according to Michigan Business Association, every dollar that you spend at small businesses, 67 cents goes back to the community. How amazing is that? That's why we need to support small businesses as well, and that's why Small Business Saturdays is super important. And one of the events taking place here is in downtown Birmingham. Over 200 stores to choose from. And like I said in the tease, when uh, you get done with shopping, come down, or even when you want to take a break, hot chocolate and cookies up for grab. And with me right now here is Beth, who's going to be talking all about, because she's also a co-owner of Hazel's Restaurant, which has got this wonderful hot chocolate and display. I'm gonna go taste this while you walk me through what's going on in terms of this speciality hot chocolate. Well, this is our third year doing it. We're always here on Small Business Saturday. It's real chocolate, real whipped cream, and it looks really good on your nose. This is this is amazing. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe I missed this. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, we're so excited to be here in Birmingham. It's a great community to be a part of. There's lots of stuff going on downtown. There's uh, horse-drawn carriage rides, a scavenger hunt, Santa House, and of course this great hot chocolate and gingerbread cookies. So, Beth, as I <laughs> clean my nose, <laughs> tell me how many, what, what, in terms of variety out here, how many stores are there? What can people, uh, thank you very much, can select from sure i think there's over 200 merchants in the in the uh, business shopping district in birmingham um, and there's every kind of store and of course tons of restaurants also that you can enjoy so shopping local dining local is a great way to support the community now speaking of restaurants i know like you have a restaurant as well and then yeah. your um uh, burgers are, are, are well known but when it comes to the pandemic how how much was the community impacted over here and and of course the small business Saturday is helping recover that. Sure. Um, well, of course, all the businesses were impacted a great deal, um, especially restaurants. Um, but it was great to see how the community came together. I know last year we had a great turnout for small business Saturday um, and we all just pulled together and we're doing OK. Now, it's interesting because before just before uh, the live interview started, you and I were talking about how Small Business Saturday started through started through American Express, yes, right? Yes, I believe now, they started it. Now, when it comes to like the expansion over here in Birmingham, how important do you think it has been over the years? Uh, small Business Saturday, uh, it's great. It just a, it raises awareness for Small Business Saturday and just how important it is to shop local and dine local um, because without people visiting these stores and these restaurants we won't be here we wouldn't be able to stay here so it's nice to kind of send the message and raise awareness about it it's in terms of you know things that are unique here in Birmingham you th what do you think makes it special like our certain stores or certain items that you can't find anywhere else so you can find out of here um, well besides the lobster rolls at <laughs> Hazel's <laughs> um, that's a tough question there's great retail stores I know there's some really great clothing stores and um, the best thing about it is there's just something of everything that that you can draw from so what park wants and and you can cover it all one-stop shop right yeah, <laughs> that's one that's shop. it yeah. so you know you don't have to go anywhere else you can't have to catch all you have to do is come down to Birmingham downtown and you got pretty much everything to choose from, right from jewelry to toys to fashion boutiques. And of course, who can't, who's going to beat like cookies and, and free hot chocolate? Like there's, there's, there's nothing to it, right? So don't waste your time. Come down here before it snows, obviously. Come down here, make the most of it. And uh, you know what, Jen? I'm going to have your candle ready and I might even grab you some hot chocolate as well. And for us, I always say, if you're not drinking hot chocolate with a little bit of whipped cream on your nose, you are not doing it right. <laughs> Thanks for that live report for us. <laughs>